Uh, good morning, my dear students. Let's continue the session. I hope you might have prepared horizontal projectile motion. Horizontal projectile motion. And let us do a quick recap. A quick recap of horizontal projectile motion. You can see here there is a ground. You have to see. And the tower of height H, round and the tower of height H, a ball is projected in this way, horizontally. So this is equal to horizontal component of velocity here initial. Understand? So imagine that is ux. And uy will be zero. There is no vertical component of velocity initial at the time is equal to zero it is happening after some time the ball will reach the ground so this is height of the tower h you know this is called the reach x r r understand what is this range here this range is equal to horizontal component into time of flight so what is the time of flight here Time taken by the body to start from here to here, right? So this is the time of flight. So time of flight we have derived, which is equal to root 2 into height of the tower by g. And this is called the time of flight. All right, this is the time of this part. Now, at a particular instant, let's see. At this instant, what is the velocity of the projectile? So this is what the velocity is. And there is a horizontal component and a vertical component, both I can draw. So it is Px and it is P. At this particular point, the velocity is square root to Px square plus Vy square. Now, what is Vx? Vx is equal to u, right? Initially, Vx is equal to u, that is constant. Horizontal component of velocity is constant everywhere. Then Vy, let's focus. Vy, if you use the equations of motion, then Vy will be equal to uy plus gt. And initially, uy is 0 plus gt. t is at this instant, at this instant times t. That may be some two seconds, that may be after some four seconds, because initially the time is t zero seconds per second. All right. Now, so v y value is g into t, v x value is u. So now these two values, if you substitute here, you get it as square root of a u square plus a g t whole square. This is at any instant the velocity of a projectile in this case. Yeah. Now, but this horizontal projectile motion, the path is also a parabola. This path is also a parabola. Do you remember this? This path is also a parabola. So, for this, we have y is equal to kx square. So, this y is directly proportional to x square. This is the equation of a parabola. This we have already proved my dear students this will be the already proved how we have proved you can see at the same instant at the same instant so this is the projectile is at the coordinates x comma y so this is x and this is y at this instant the projectile is at the coordinates x comma y x is horizontal distance y is vertical distance all right 
and this horizontal distance x is equal to u into t same see the distance is equal to speed into time when we are talking about horizontal distance so we have to talk about we have to write about horizontal speed that's it and whereas the horizontal speed is constant u okay so from here time you can take it as x by u again this we have done already right hardly it will take another another two three minutes for a quick recap that's why i'm continuing then a y also let us discuss y is equal to u y into t plus half g t square okay so this is the vertical distance traveled initial point and the final point okay the vertical distance we need this distance this distance is the displacement here so that y vertical distance traveled which is equal to u y into t we are talking about vertical distance then vertical speed you need to take this is zero because u y is zero initially plus half g t square so you can see here this is half g t square t square i can say it is x square by u square from where so from here okay now so y is equal to half g by u square into x square so this is the complete value is constant yes sir a 1 by 2 is a constant t is a constant u square is also a constant so then i can write y is equal to k x square which is an equation of a parabola so path of the horizontal projectile motion is also parabola clear this is horizontal projectile motion and range we discussed time of flight also we have discussed right so many uh, instant at, at a particular instant the velocity also it's done so let's understand the different cases in the horizontal projectile motion different cases in the horizontal projectile motion let's take Let's look at the first course, first case. This is the ground. First case. This is the tower of height H capital H. From this, so there is a ball is projected with some initial velocity U. Now the ball has reached the ground like this. So this is the point O origin, I can say this is the point A and it is reached to the point B. See, I'm just drawing the strike line from A to B. What I'm writing here, the strike line from A to B. So strike line from A to B is nothing but the displacement, you see. Yes or no? Tell me, my dear students. Strike line from A to B is nothing but the displacement. Okay. So I'm writing here A B is the displacement. And uh, this is the distance I can say X O to B. It is X that you can also uh, say that total horizontal distance travel. That's called the range we say. Right? Now, in this case, they have clearly mentioned that the displacement line is making 45 degrees. Displacement line is making 45. From here, so many things you can find. So many things. If it is 45 degrees, what I can write? And 45 degrees is how much my dear students? Opposite side by adjacent side. So that is H by X. So this I can also write it as and 45 is 1, 1 is equal to h by x is h is equal to x, isn't it? So h is equal to x, that's the first thing. After that, look at here. If it is 45 degrees, so this is an initial vector, right? If it is 45 degrees, so this also will be the 45 degrees. And this also the h, this is also the h. From this triangle, you can say the same value I'm getting are tan 45 degrees is equal to opposite side is H. 
by u okay h by u so that is our code point so h is equal to u see here understand now one more thing. one more point in the same in the same in the same situation so let's find the displacement in this case by this row. So displacement is a b in this case what is the displacement so the displacement is the displacement a b is equal to square root a o whole square plus o b whole square okay so what is a o what is a o that is h square plus ob is x square and so here so this is h square plus x square so both i can write h square plus h square because h is equal to x so here it will be square root 2 h square which is equal to root 2 h r root 2 x so the displacement will be equal to root 2 x r root 2 Okay, so this is one case. So how to find the displacement like this? Right? So, all right. So here itself, I can find one more important thing here. One more important thing. See here. You know this is y, right? So h, h is equal to u y into t plus half g t square. So anyway, u y into t is zero. So then half g t square h half g t square okay mm, this is h so then i can also write x is equal to u into t yes or no x is equal to u into t so this is horizontal distance the range is equal to u into time of flight this t is let me say this time of flight because i am talking about the complete horizontal projectile from the initial point to the ground the body has come so uh, this is a full projectile motion. So then this t will be the, the time of flight. So both I can equate because h is equal to x from this. The same case I'm discussing, h is equal to x. So then u t is equal to half g t square. T, t cancel, right? So then you get t is equal to, what is that? t is equal to 2u by g so that i have applied in this case it will be 2u by g okay here so these are this is one of the case related to horizontal projectile motion in this so many other cases also there let us discuss them now so look at the another case here So this is the tower of height h1 and this is the tower of height h2. From the tower of height h1, so there is a projectile u, right? There is a body which is projected horizontally with initial velocity. You know, how it has projected is to reach To reach like this, it has projected. Now the distance between them is d. Distance of separation between them is d. Now look at here. Projectile motion is finished. Started from here and reached to here. So this is point A and this is point B. That means the top of the tower to the another top of the tower. Okay. So this is D here and it, this, this is the part which is a projectile now, okay. Only 
So this is the part you can consider as a horizontal projectile motion. From this part, if you consider, so this height of the tower, what is the height of the tower here? So this is height of the tower. This height of the tower is H1 minus H2. All right. So now this T is equal to what I can say U into T. Right? T is the time of flight from here to here. So this T. So T, which I can also write U into square root 2 into H1 height of the tower. Okay. H1 minus H2 by T. So like this number of will be asked. So here they may give you the, uh, uh, the value of H1 minus H2. G, G may be 10 or 9.8 meter per second square according to the given options. So U may be given. Then D you can find. Uh, U you need to find by giving D value. Right. So remember this case also. Let's have a look at the third uh, another another application so this is the application is the most important application that is to it the most important application here so total there are four applications after four applications we'll solve them some numerical. so this is the most important application it's so difficult so this is the ground there is an airplane there is some airplane moving with some initial velocity at this instant it is drop a food packet or a bomb right so at this instant the airplane is drop a food packet or from some height okay from this height edge. it is dropped a food packet or a bomb when it is dropped initially I have told you already in this case we have discussed in the last classes too at this instant, because of inertia of motion, bullet or the foot, or the bomb or the foot packet, initially it will not move in the downward direction. To some extent, it will move in the horizontal direction because of the inertia of motion. Okay, so the bomb is wanted to continue its motion, right, with the same velocity of the airplane at this instant. So after some time, it starts falling in this direction okay so this is also similar case of horizontal projectile motion with the time of light is equal to square root 2 h by g and but what distance it will fall the same range concept x is equal to u into square root 2 h by g so this is also the same you can see the same okay and two important points i wanted to discuss here why i have told you this is most important right look at here there is a bomb which is making the horizontal projectile motion so if a man is standing here so there is a man standing here for this man for this man the path of this projectile is a parabola all right projectile motion is a parabola for this man and uh, there is a person in the airplane okay so there is a person in the airplane. I can say is a pilot here. So for this pilot, so the path of the bomb is a straight line. Okay, straight line. Wherever it is dropped, so there he feel that there it is projecting. There it is exactly moving in a straight line towards the ground for the pilot. With respect to the pilot, so the particle is moving in a straight line towards the ground. With respect to this man, I can say he is the observer. So the path of this projectile is a parabola. And one important thing I tell you: listen, my dear students. So there is a particle. There is an another particle moving, making the projectile motion. Carefully see. So there is an another particle making the projectile motion. Carefully see. Right. So imagine. He is the person here and he is the person here. Both are making parabolic motion. Here, here. See? Projectile and projectile. So there are two 
two persons moving in the projectile motion. There are two, two particles making the projectile motion. With respect to one other, so particles are moving in a straight line. They feel that they are moving in a straight line. Simple. For this observer, it is exactly the projectile motion. For the pilot who is dropped, who has dropped the bomb or the food packet, so then this is a straight line path he observes. And when we are we are in this projectile motion, observing the another projectile motion, and we feel that the path of the particle is a straight line with respect to one other. All right. Now, last case, let us discuss last case last case is also an important case okay the last case is also an important case so simple you can see i'm just drawing the steps i'm just drawing some steps here also. i'm not a good artist but still we only do bad so there are steps uh, one, two, three, four steps I have drawn. Okay. So the height of each step is A, the width of each step is B. Understand? So this is A and this is B. This is A and this is B. This is A and this is B. I'm just drawing some straight line here horizontally and vertically straight line horizontally and vertically all right so Horizontally and vertically, I have drawn some. This is the final step. Okay. From here. Now, if there are n number of steps in here, if there are n number of steps, so this is n into a. Understand? So this is 1, a, 2, 3, 4, like this, n number of steps are there. So this is n a and this is n b okay number of steps into width of each step oh so number of steps into width of each step from here to here now so i can say there is a particle which is projected horizontally in this how it has projected you know started from this topmost point and it is projected in this way such that it has reached the final step now carefully see here also the time of flight or time taken by the projectile to reach the last step is t in a horizontal this is also a horizontal project see how many cases we are discussing in horizontal so what I can say here, n b which is equal to u into t. Yes or no? Can I say this is an equation? Definitely this is an equation. I can also say this is n b. Okay. I can also say n a which is equal to height height of the tower, which is equal to half into g into t square. So this is an another equation. Two equations we have got. Now let us substitute this t value here. What happens? So if I substitute the t value here, <coughs> n a is equal to half into g into t square. T square is n square b square by u square. Just I'm deriving something. Right, this is n. This is n. So what is that? A is equal to g by two into n b square by u square. 
So from this, the number of steps I just wanted to find. So the number of steps is equal to 2a u square divided by g b square. So what is this? Number of steps, my dear So say this number of steps. That is what our a. So depends on the value given, you can find the other physical quantity even. If a is given, u is given, g is given, b is given, you can find the number of steps. If n is given, a is given, c. If n is given, a is given, g is given, and the b is given, you can find the initial velocity of projection also. Okay. So like this also the numericals will be asked. And let's see some numericals related to this. Right? Some numericals. Some new so let's have a look at this model together. There are two paper squares. Right? See? Two paper screens A and B are separated by a distance of 100 meters okay now a bullet a bullet pierces a and then b now the hole in b is 10 centimeters below the hole in A. If the bullet is traveling, if the bullet is traveling horizontally, if the bullet is traveling horizontally, at the time of hitting, at the time of hitting the screen A, calculate the velocity of the bullet, calculate the velocity of the bullet when it hits the screen A. Right? So, there is a given condition. A resistance is neglected. A resistance is neglected. Okay. Now, let's read the question. Two paper screens A and B are separated by a distance of 100 meters. So let us draw uh, the, the rough diagram related to this. So there is one paper screen. So there is one paper screen. There is an other paper screen. Okay. These are just two paper screens A and B. They are kept at a distance of 100 meters. So you should be very careful about the centimeters and the, and the meters, 100 meters. A bullet pierces A and then B. The hole in B is 10 centimeters below the hole in A. Imagine a bullet is pierced A. This is a hole. There is a hole formed, right? When the bullet pierces, there is a hole formed here. After it is moving horizontally, they have given somewhere here, right? 
if the bullet is traveling horizontally at the time of hitting the screen A, see, it is moving horizontally. This is the initial velocity. And definitely, this will be a projectile like this something. So here, the bullet will pierce the B. Okay. A bullet pierces A and then B. Oh, that's fine. The hole in B is 10 centimeters below the hole in A. This is hole 1 and this is the second hole. So what is the distance here they have given? It is 10 centimeters minus so that's Okay, now, so this is 100 meters, fine, this is 100 meters. So this is a horizontal projectile motion. I've told you in the last question itself and you can clearly consider that this is one horizontal projectile motion situation. Okay, so here, find the velocity of the bullet when it hits the screen a this is you we need to find out air resistance is neglected and they have also mentioned consider d value is 9.8 seconds square okay and how to how to So let's find the solution for this. It's so simple. When this case, so D is equal to U into T. D is 100 meters, which is equal to U into square root 2 into H. What is H value here? H value is 10 centimeters. So 10 into 10 raised to minus 2 meter. Okay, meters we need to consider, right? G, G they have given as 9.8, right? So simple. So 100 is equal to U into, so this is what. So from here, you can you can find the value of U. So U, if you find, you will get it as 700 meters per second minus two. So just check it. Approximately, you get it as 700 meters per second. Okay? Simple. This is based on the case only, right? So this is based on the cases what we have discussed so far. Let's have a look at the end of the question. There is a staircase which contains three steps. Each Three steps, each height, 10 centimeters, and each width, 20 centimeters. Each height and width. So that means, one, two, Height is given as 10 centimeters and width is given as 20 centimeters. What should be the minimum horizontal velocity? So this is the horizontal velocity. What should be the minimum horizontal velocity of a ball rolling off the uppermost plane so as to hit directly the edge of the lower step? See, this is the case we have already discussed. What should be this velocity so that what should be this velocity so that the ball rolls off the topmost point of the step and finally to hit directly the lowermost step? We can make this as a horizontal projectile motion like this. Right? So this is n. How many steps here? So the number of steps three here. See, let's do how many number of steps here? Number of steps are three. So that is h total height. Total height is equal to three into ten centimeters. All right. So total width is equal to three into how many? Twenty centimeters. Okay. So this is n into 
this is n into a now see you can also count here 10 centimeters so this is another 10 centimeters this is another 10 centimeters so this is 20 centimeters 20 centimeters 20 centimeters that means three times the 20 centimeters question is to find you right let us check this w r x x is equal to u into t x is what horizontal distance maximum horizontal distance is this one so that is equal to 3 into 20 centimeters that is 20 into 10 raised to minus 2 which is equal to u into square root mm, t t is square root 2 into h h is what here it's 3 into 10 into 10 raised to minus 2 divided by 10 my dear students because g value they have not mentioned here i have considered as 10 meters per second square okay no let's check it 10 10 cancel here this is how much 6500 which is equal to u into square root 6 by 100 so this i can also write 6 by 10 which is equal to u into the root 6 mm, that is root 6 into 1 by 10 okay so this 1 by 100 root 1 by 100 i'm writing as 1 by 10 so this here and i can say 6 by 10 into 10 this 10 comes to the other side this is u into root 6 our aim is to find u my dear students that is very important mm, 10 10 cancel and the root 6 is equal to u this i can also write it as so root 2 into root 3 which is equal to u and you know the value of root 2 into root 3 okay so you'll get u as um, u as 2.45 meters per second that's it this is about horizontal projectile motion clear now the next class we'll discuss about circular motion and rotatory motion. So this is the end of the projectile motion. There are few more topics are pending in projectile motion. That, that's called the advanced topics. And those advanced topics we'll be discussing once we start our offline classes. All the very best for your assignment, my dear Thank you so much.